Hi guys, I'm Natasha and I'm currently in my third year of a BA at the University of Auckland. Did you know that arts graduates from the University of Auckland secure successful careers in many different areas, including advertising and marketing, international development, business management, language teaching and translation. And today we're in Wellington, New Zealand's political centre, where we're going to catch up with some of our arts graduates who work in different government ministries and departments. Let's see how their arts degree set them up for their careers. Let's head into the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment so we can meet Policy Advisor Nayana Islam. So first of all, what is it that a Policy Advisor does? Basically, a Policy Advisor collects information, analyzes the information and provides new insights to problems. We also try to give the best advice to Ministers to better understand the problem and offer effective solutions. I made a deliberate choice to study a Master of Public Policy because I really wanted to work in the policy area. I thought Master of Public Policy would really help signal to any potential future employers that I would have the right research and analytical skills to do the job. Our next arts graduate also works at the MBIE as a policy advisor, but she works in competition and consumer policy. Let's meet Rebecca to see what that involves. In my position, we're looking at competition and consumer issues in New Zealand. Um, and one of the biggest challenges is looking at an issue and how it affects all these different groups if in New Zealand. So a consumer issue will affect um, not only consumers, but you have to think of all the people that these decisions impact and come up with a solution and bring that to the minister to formulate law. So one thing that we've been working on recently is loan sharks, regulating loan sharks, finding out what the problem is and how we can protect New Zealanders. And that's really rewarding work that we do there and I really enjoy it. So do you think that you learnt the required skills and knowledge from the degree you studied? Doing a law and arts conjoint and majoring for my arts and criminology, I found it was really good because it helped me to develop a critical lens, asking the tough questions. So in criminology, we'd be looking at the criminal justice system and looking at prisons, questioning the systems that have been there for years and years and looking at should we make small changes, should we get rid of it, asking these really tough questions. And now that I work in policy, these are the sort of questions you bring to um, policy issues. Should something exist the way that it does? Should it be changed slightly? Should something completely new come and replace it? And having done arts and majoring in criminology for arts, I found that those questions come a lot more naturally and that's a skill that I bring into my work every day, um, asking those kinds of questions. We're now at the Department of Internal Affairs where we're going to meet Quinton and he's the manager of Translation Services. Let's have a chat to him and see what his job entails. So tell me what do you do in your role? Well, I manage a team of uh, linguists and project managers and we translate official documents for um, the general public and we also translate a whole lot of stuff for uh, government. What advice would you give to others who are thinking of studying arts? Well, I'd say in government generally there are a lot of people with an arts background. Arts is one area that really takes the soft skills very seriously. That involves communication, it involves understanding other people. These are the skills that really matter when it comes to government particularly. I'm back in Auckland where we're going to meet Hector who's an evaluation and policy lead at Hapai Te Haora. Let's meet him and find out how his background in Māori studies helped him in his career. So Hector, tell us, what is it that you do in your role? I do the research, evaluation and policy uh, stuff here at Harpai. So I work with all the contracts here. So some of the work that we do is in like um, health and nutrition, tobacco control, we do gambling. So we do a whole lot of different stuff. So I work within the organisation, but I also work across the country as well, nationally. I'm on several different boards and um, basically they ask me to provide advice um, to inform health policies. There are people out there who think that an arts degree won't get you a job. Do you have anything to say to them? It's complete rubbish <laughs> and I know that just from um, all the work that I've done um, up to this time and one thing that I know from employers is they're looking for people that have versatility especially now because our world is changing so quickly and that arts degree and my arts background have really given me a good foundation to do all that sort of stuff. One of the great things about Māori studies is that you actually study a whole lot of different disciplines, anthropology, sociology, I did media studies, so it really sets you up to be really versatile. To find out where an arts degree from the University of Auckland can lead you, and if you want to know more about our graduate stories, check out our website. Mm -hmm.